here for, for an hour or something. <laughs> you're driving probably two. We're in the we're doing <laughs> Hi guys, how is it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry, I've got really sleepy sunny. I've actually just filmed two videos back to back because you gotta take your chances. But if you can hear any grumbling, it is my puppy who's just sleeping right there. Whenever I'm filming, he always likes to, he gets in the way for about five seconds and then he's like, right, okay, we're gonna, mum, we're gonna chill here, we're gonna chill here. So he's just keeping me warm at the back. That's Chris Ingham down there, guys, living his best life, trying to get a shot of the van. I've been asked to do an Ingham family update for the longest time and I just got done filming a bit more of a serious video. So I think this will be like the little bit of relief I'm gonna try and let let some inner relief out i swear to god i said this in my last video what who who is this for what trip who who is this trip for because so far i've seen them get snuck snuck i've seen them get stuck in snowstorms i've seen them get stuck on top of on top of roads and hills and then chris having a, a had having a a panic attack i'm not sure if it was or not who really knows at this point i don't know if this is gonna make the vlog because chris not, might not be happy about sharing this chris just had the biggest panic attack i've ever seen him have in his whole life I'm just completely out of the blue i'm like what are you doing is that my like, attack i can't i can't i need to get out of the van i need to get out i can't i'm putting you all in danger he's not we're just on a normal road it's because it's they don't have a barrier that's why and the roads don't have a barrier so it looks scary and I kept trying to just say, it's like my irrational fear last night that we were going to fall into the water. We weren't going to fall into the water, but because it's a fear, I kept replaying over and over in my head that we were going to fall into the water. Thumbnails have been like atrocious. They haven't been able to, that begs, like, they haven't really been able to like shower in ages. It seems an extravagant thing to do to get to like, basically the whole thing is that they're trying to get to the most northerly point in Europe. Is that right? <laughs> So that might be it, that might be our Nordcap adventure. What? Finito, we might have to do it again another time, babe. In Norway, pretty sure Norway. And they, I just have to ask, before we get into any of the little bits that's been going on in particular that make me go, why? Um, I just wanna ask, who is this for? They're like, this has been a bucket list. This has been on my bucket list for so long. This has been up, this is all I wanna do. We are van life YouTubers now, guys. We're not that, we're not that family channel with the with the creepy dad with the creepy dad who used to message underage girls. No, 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 that's not us at all. No, no, no. We are a van life family. And so they've been van lifing it. Well, they have kind of been van lifing it, but they've been going about I wanna go to the Arctic Circle. And they've taken all of their children, they've just taken all of them, including the youngest ones. And the weather, it's like full on like snowstorming and everything. And there comes a point where every other video is like something really, really dramatic, like caught in a man, a man, and they might just be exaggerating it for views. But at this point, it's like, is this even safe? Is this even safe, guys? Because at this point, their kids are strapped. Are they even strapped? I've never seen them in the back of that van. They're in the back of the van while Sarah and Chris are driving along, just going, da -da 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 -da, all happy as Larry what are the kids doing back there they're there for hours and it's just like some of their older kids look like they're kind of like having a good time like a bucket list holiday for me this was like on my bucket list to do this trip the sneaky suspicion right that chris just chris watches a few van life people and he thought ah what gets us the most views guys oh these people went to the arctic circle let's make it a great big thing but the thing is they've literally got like five kids just like strapped in the back and i'm just like this is just so silly. You can tell by the way that Chris is so heavily invested in getting all of these different shots of everything. There's numerous times I have caught him saying, oh, it's just so annoying because I want to get this good shot. Oh, da, 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 like getting out of the van, doing this and that, trying to make it into a spectacle. But what I was saying about the scenery is making me a bit sad because today was that Mike, I had some amazing ideas, video ideas in my head today for like drone shots and loads of Arctic wintry shots. And number one, it's rained most of the day today, so that hasn't been possible. That's Chris Ingham down there, guys, living his best life, trying to get a shot. But the funniest thing is, right, and I do find this slightly amusing, I do find this slightly amusing, right, that the videos have actually done worse than they did when they were at home. I haven't gotten them the views that they've wanted. And to me, from an outsider looking in, I feel like this trip is only happening because they wanted to do something that like is really, really big and it would bring them in the views and things, make some evergreen content. But all it's been doing is just turning regular viewers away. Because a lot of people point out like, 
yeah, like, it doesn't look very safe, guys. And they're like, no, it's fine. In fact, they didn't even get to their end destination because they realised that it was, like, the road was completely blocked and they couldn't get past anyway. We've drove all this way and the road's closed. No, you can see up ahead. Sarah had an amazing thing to say about lorries. No, you can see up ahead the barriers across. Oh, no way. What do the lorries do in this situation? Because they can't just, like, they just turn around and go back, can they? Like, we can. It's like, well, obviously, like, they can't... Like, they, they, they've they got to sit and wait there because they're transporting goods, Sarah. That That's what they're doing. Sarah has been so antsy. She has been unbelievably antsy with the people in the comment section who have had some things to say about her youngest, who is, like, one, I think. Um, who... Okay, I've seen several different pictures from different angles and there's only so many times you can say it's the light when they clearly had a massive great big like red cold rash around their mouth and she's there going like, no, we're having like the best time guys. Stop saying that my child's really, really cold. It's like, mate, you're in the Arctic Circle. Of course your child's freezing. I don't want to say this, but I don't really think they've put their kids first in this, in this thing. I don't care. I'd go traveling with your family, fine. But going to like Norway in the dead of winter with these snowstorms with your full family, getting stuck on things, not being able to get through. I'm just a little bit like, what was the point here? What was the end goal? And the clickbait, the absolute clickbait is just off the charts. So Chris decided that they're renting these like, um, what are they called? Like snowmobile thingamajiggies. And they're, they're going along. And Chris, I'll insert you this clip. <laughs> Like, I just don't, I just don't, I don't get it. That he did not roll, a, he did not roll that thing. He didn't even fall off. You could very clearly see it parked. And then he just like did a little somersault thing. Like, they're really honestly reaching. And the thing is, is that why should you really be reaching if you're just out in such like a amazing place? You shouldn't need to do all these different things for content. But their viewers are not interested. In fact, what makes this even more sick is the fact that their videos were just doing very like nah, 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 nah. and then the one that got like 20k more views was the one with their child in a bathing suit i'm sorry i didn't want to have to say this but it was i was like oh come on now come on now and chris knows what he's doing with that you could have picked one of sarah doing that or you doing that but you chose your child it's this reason why i go so heavy on them because like i'm just so like disapproving i'm like because they do stuff like this and i'm like you know what you're doing there like you've been on youtube long enough to know bringing it back to the fact that this trip is just purely for for content reasons so sarah did this like right guys even though we're having the most amazing time ever the most amazing time ever they're not going to be able to like vlog because the whole vlogging and editing and that and it's like and they quite literally only took two or three days off we have to make a sacrifice we either sacrifice doing that part of the trip and we just keep daily vlogging and we head back home. Yeah, we head back home via Sweden and a few fun stops that we still want to do along the way. Or we take a few days off daily vlogging and we actually reach our goal. I know I had, like, had, a, had a bit of a rant the other day about this, but to daily vlog, you have to be doing something fun and interesting and, it, and i know so many of you guys say you don't we love your chitty chatty vlogs but at the end of the day we if we're not happy with the vlogs we're putting out there's no point us putting them out and it's really difficult to do things like that when you're doing a lot of driving in one like how i completely love sharing our travel adventures with you guys and we love filming them just for our own memories to be able to look back on it's really important to also remember that this is a trip that we need to be living in the moment as well mm -hmm. and i haven't don't get me wrong i haven't done this mm -hmm. but i feel like quite a lot of days i've been spent so much time worrying about what we filmed that i don't i'm not fully enjoying it and living in the moment if that makes sense mm -hmm. i've loved it but some days when we've driven to get to somewhere or it just puts pressure on you to and, and you worry, basically. Like, I sometimes just take two or three days off just because I need a bit of a break from absorbing content, yeah. But I do commentary, so I don't have to, like, create with different stuff. But she's banging on about it, just being like, oh, well, you know, I just don't want to do chatty vlogs all the time. We've got to make it really, really interesting. It's like, just enjoy the moment. She had this little catchphrase. It was like, one life live it or something. Ollie, I think that's what she was calling it. Which, coincidentally, isn't that like the BMW 
is that the BMW logo? It's a car logo, I know it is, and I can't remember which one it is. It's not Mercedes, I think it might actually be BMW. The walk, his hat's blown off, his boxes are out. What's going on there, you disgusting man? What is happening here? Like, just, just take time off. But this whole thing is just for content. You have Chris jumping out, doing somersaults to get all these different shots. The kids are in the back doing, I don't even, I do not even know what. It always seems to be like, what are you running from? To want to go all the way to the Arctic Circle in this time. Who knows? It might be a bucket list thing. It might be. Who knows? Just not overly convinced. I think they were just doing this purely for views. And I'm just quite happy that none of, none of the kids actually did get like a frostbite or her or whatever i mean it it can't be like ultra fun just sat driving around whatever maybe that's just not my idea of fun i do not like the cold so this is probably the worst i am the worst person to be talking about with this i don't even really like the snow i i can't stand it actually i don't mind it being a bit cold but snow i'm not a fan of so that that kind of a trip for me would be my own personal hell but that is just me and maybe that's the reason why I'm a bit biased in this sense. You know what? I keep on thinking about this, about their poor dog. <laughs> about literally, right? Ever since I've got, ever since I've gotten sunny, right? Hmm. Everyone talk about my dog. Need to do head up. Oh, he's a sleepy baby. He's a little baby. Ever since I've gotten my puppy, who is the size of a regular dog, <laughs> um, I take him everywhere with me he goes everywhere with me it's literally an extension of me he comes everywhere he's only five months old but you bet your bottom dollar this dog will come with me school runs comes with me shops uh in fact no the only time that he doesn't come with me is when i need to do a really big food shop because i don't really like leaving him in the car for that long every single little outing if i'm doing a little bit of this and that he'll come with me i've been down to devon i've done like the four and a half hour car journey he comes with me there comes to people's houses da, da, da. and it's just like i know obviously they've got a slightly older dog but i remember they got this dog uh prinny is it um and they were obsessed with it for a very, very, very short while. And now they go away so much. It's like, you don't really have a dog. And I, I'm not saying like, oh, it's got to come with you to the Arctic Circle. That's not what I'm saying. But it, they go away so much that it's not really their dog anymore because they're away more than their back. And I just feel really, really bad for it. Like bad for it, bad for her, is it her? I feel so bad for her. But the idea of leaving him just to jet off literally every other week, What's the point? Like, what is the point? And I don't want us to come across all like preachy because <laughs> I know how it might sound, but if you have like dogs or even cats, for instance, you know, if you have pets, you want them to be a part of your life, not just like leaving and running away. It doesn't make a lot of sense. And weirdly enough, I have actually read quite a few comments saying, what about Prinny? Where's Prinny? And it's true, it's like they were so obsessed with this dog and now they've discovered van life. So now the dog is literally just like left on the sidelines. And I'm like, just... sometimes, sometimes some people are just not built for having animals and they shouldn't have them. And that's the way that I look at it. So just don't get them in the very first place because rehoming is like, it's not the greatest. It's not the greatest at all. Hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in this world. Take care of each other, take care of yourselves and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video.